Have you ever wondered what happens when the sun throws a tantrum? As we navigate through Solar Cycle 25, which began in 2019 and is expected to continue until around 2030, we're entering a critical phase. This cycle features escalating solar activity, including solar flares, coronal mass ejections, and solar storms expected to peak this year or next. In this video, we will delve into the recent surge in solar activity, discuss the significant impacts these solar events can have on our planet, and explore advanced strategies to protect our technology and natural ecosystems from the sun's explosive temper. In recent weeks, we've observed a record high sunspot count, the highest in over two decades, with a single day seeing up to nine major solar flares. This level of activity marks a significant uptick as solar cycle 25 escalates toward its peak, anticipated to be higher and sooner than previous forecasts had suggested sunspots. The dark patches on the sun's surface are cooler areas caused by disruptions in the sun's magnetic field. These spots are often the precursors to solar flares, explosive releases of energy that can send billions of tons of coronal material hurtling into space. The science behind these phenomena is rooted in the sun's magnetic fields, which twist and tangle over an 11-year cycle. As these fields snap back into new positions, they release immense energy that we observe as solar flares and coronal mass ejections, CMEs. The effects of these solar flares are not just spectacular to watch, but can have tangible impacts on Earth. High energy photons from these flares can ionize Earth's atmosphere, disrupting the transmission of radio waves and degrading signals from GPS satellites. This can lead to interruptions in communication and navigation technologies that are crucial to many modern day activities, from aviation to mobile phone operations. The term solar maximum refers to the period during the solar cycle when the sun's magnetic activity is at its height. It's during these times that we see the most intense and frequent solar flares and CMEs. This heightened activity can lead to more severe geomagnetic storms, which, in turn, can affect electrical grids and communication networks on Earth. The last severe geomagnetic storm, a result of such solar activity, led to spectacular auroras far from the poles and highlighted the disruptive potential of solar events. When coronal mass ejections, enormous clouds of magnetized plasma from the sun hit Earth's magnetic field, they can induce powerful geomagnetic storms. The most severe of these can disrupt power grids by inducing currents that overload electrical infrastructure. A historical example is the 1989 Quebec blackout, where a geomagnetic storm left millions without power for hours. Today, with our even more interconnected and electricity-dependent society, the stakes are higher than ever. The economic implications of a major solar storm are vast. It's estimated that a single severe geomagnetic storm could result in economic losses of tens of billions of dollars globally. These losses stem from damaged power grids, disrupted satellite operations, and the cascading effects on everything from emergency services to financial markets. Moreover, the recovery from such widespread technological disruption could take weeks or even months, compounding the initial economic impact. Apart from technological disruptions, geomagnetic storms may also influence animal behavior. Animals that rely on geomagnetic cues for navigation, such as migratory birds, bees, and sea turtles, might display unusual behavior during these times. For instance, there could be disruptions in migration patterns or even daily travel routes as these animals attempt to recalibrate their internal compasses to the shifting geomagnetic fields. These behavioral changes are crucial indicators of the storm's impact on the natural world and can have cascading effects on ecological systems. Advancements in space technology, particularly with satellites like NOAA's GOES series, have significantly enhanced our ability to monitor and predict solar activity. These satellites are equipped with sensitive instruments capable of detecting even the slightest changes in solar energy output, which provides real-time alerts for solar flares and CMEs. 
As we approach the peak of solar cycle 25, it's important to understand the levels of the geomagnetic storms. As current observations and models suggest that solar cycle 25 could be one of the most active in decades, the NOAA space weather scales classify these storms into different levels, ranging from G1, minor, to G5, extreme. Each level corresponds to potential effects, such as disruptions to power grids and communication systems at higher intensities. The first level is the G1, minor level, where weak power grid fluctuations can occur, and minor impacts on satellite operations are possible. The most enchanting effect, however, is the increased likelihood of auroras near the polar regions, which may be visible at higher latitudes than usual. Moving to G2, moderate, to G3, strong levels, storms can lead to high latitude power systems being affected, with potential transformer damage. The auroras become more widespread, occasionally visible down to mid-latitude regions. Finally, from G4, severe, to G5, extreme levels, storms are the strongest, which can induce widespread voltage control problems and protective system problems, potentially leading to extended power outages. Auroras may be seen as far south as Florida or Southern Europe. These intense storms are rare, but can significantly disrupt modern life. So, the auroras, while beautiful, signify disturbances in the Earth's magnetosphere caused by these solar storms. Several tools and websites offer aurora forecasts and alerts. For example, NOAA provides forecasts about geomagnetic activity, which can help predict when and where auroras might be visible. Additionally, there are apps and websites dedicated to aurora predictions that take into account current solar activity and geomagnetic data to provide real-time or near-real-time forecasts. Understanding the varied impacts of these geomagnetic storm levels helps in preparing appropriate responses. For instance, power companies might enhance grid resilience against potential fluctuations and surges during higher storm warnings. Wildlife conservation groups can monitor as well. Also, engineers and scientists have made significant strides in enhancing the resilience of satellites and power grids against solar storms. Looking forward, the integration of artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning into solar storm prediction models shows great potential for improving forecast accuracy. As a result, we're better equipped to prepare for and mitigate the impact of space weather on our critical infrastructure. As we've explored today, the activity of the sun, while a source of life, also poses significant risks to our modern technological society. Thank you for joining me in this enlightening journey into the power of the sun. Stay curious and stay prepared.